Hi, this is Jeremy Comel, and welcome to Tutorial 5 for Lipid Match. In Tutorial 5, we're going to show how we can combine output identifications and feature lists from Lipid Match with other identification software such as MS Dial. So, if we look at the Lipid Match feature table, you can see that we have our identifications, our groups, and our samples, as well as their peak heights. And so I want to keep all this information, but now I want a new column that has identifications from other identification uh, software for further confidence or to gain new lipid identifications lipid match did not obtain. In order to do that, the first thing we do is we take down some important information we'll need to run the software. That is, we'll need the identification column, so that's going to be column 16 over here. We're going to need our retention time column, which is going to be column 3, our mass to charge column, which is going to be column 2, and the row in which our data starts, which is going to be row 3. We'll write all of that information down and then close the file. Now we'll open up our MS Dial file, and in our MS Dial file, we'll see the same types of columns that we want to write down. So first, for our identification, we have multiple options. We could take the metabolite name, we could take the ichna key, we could take the smiles, or using a concatenate function in Excel, we could combine them all and append all of them to the lipid match file. In this case, let's just take the metabolite names. So that would be column four. The mass to charge would be column three and the retention time would be column 2. And we'd also want to write down the row the data starts in, which is in this case row 2. The row the data starts in is the one you see the first numbers for the mass to charge and retention time. And the data file should only have numbers for the retention time and mass to charge until the end of the data sheet. So we'll close this file. Now we'll go into our lip and match folder in our lipid match folder we'll open up the additional tools folder and our combine IDs enhanced code. Again we'll just press Control shift s and then you might have to minimize our studio to see the pop-up boxes but in this case you didn't. And it's going to ask us a series of questions. First it's just showing that we have the latest version of R. Now it's asking for the feature table in which IDs will be appended. So that's going to be our lipid match feature table. Now it's going to ask for the feature table containing IDs to be appended. So in this case it's the MS dial that has the identifications that we want to append onto the lipid match table. Now it's going to ask us for our output directory to save the feature tables. The output directory in this case I'll have is the same as the input directory. What is the column containing IDs in the feature table? So now it's going to ask us a series of questions related to the information we just took down when we were looking at the tables. So our IDs were in column 16 of the lipid match file. Our mass to charges were in column 2. Our retention times were in column 3. And the row the data started was in column 3. Now we do the same thing for the lipid or the MS dial file. So first, what column contained the lipid IDs? This is going to be four. The mass of charges were in column three. The retention times were in column two, and the row the data started was in column two. Now it asks for the PPM window. So when it's combining the different files, it's going to be looking for features that have the mass of charges within a PPM window, so in this case I'll put 10, so within a 10 PPM window, and their retention times also have to be within a window. So in this case I'll put 0.3 for plus or minus 0.15 minutes to combine these features. Press OK. And the final input is what do you want the name for your appended data? It's both going to be included in the name of the file it saved and as the column header. So in this case, I'll say ms dial id.
I'll press OK. And now I'll run the code. And so if we open up our RStudio again, you can see it's running because the stop light is on. When the stop sign turns off, that means the code has finished running. And so it's going to save our output in the folder that we selected earlier, which was combining. So it's currently, it just has our input files. I also want to take a note that in our MS dial file, as I mentioned earlier, there was only about a little more than 100 identifications. And so I only included those features that were identified in MS dial. If I had included all the features obtained in MS dial, that would be about 55,000 features. And that would really slow down uh, this portion of the software, and it could take many hours. But as you can see, with a short end just to those identified, it only took a few minutes. So now we have our created file. We can open it up. And now we can see that our MS style original feature table is the same. But then we have matched on the MS dial identification. So if we scroll down to LISO PCs, for example, you can see that you have LISO PC 16.0 is also identified as 16.0 using MS dial. So all of them were identified in terms of the LPCs the same in MS dial and lip and match, although some were missing from MS dial. In addition, if we scroll down, we can see that there's some identifications in MS Dial for features that were not obtained in Lipid Match. So I'm going to close this. There's one last thing I want to show, which is just a comparison of Lipid Match and Swim Bladder using the same data. In Lipid Match, we can see, and this is an old version of the software, as you can see, addicts aren't shown, nor are the multiple confirmations. But even with the old version of the software and limited libraries, in positive IM mode, we we're able to identify four hundred and eleven features using Lipid Match. Now, if we look at MS Dial, we were able to identify 150. So, more than two times the number of features were identified in Lipid Match versus MS Dial using the same data on swim bladder tissues, which are fish tissues to stay afloat. So, that will be all for our tutorials, and I'm glad that you're, um, and I hope you enjoy using Lipid Match. Thank you.